Hey, Iconic patrons and viewers of the Iconic channel. Uh, this is JM the GM. You know me from uh, 13th Age podcast, the Iconic podcast, from the Jackals game, uh, and probably from the Ulysses International channels where I run the Torg and Fading Suns game. Now, today we're doing something special, and I needed someone special to do this with me. And I, this is my son, Zane. Zane, can you say hello to everyone? Hi! So, Zane, what are we going to talk about today? Why I like Torg. Yes, so out of all of the games on my shelf, of which you can see there are just a ton of them, the game Zane likes most at this point, you like a lot of games, but the one that you yes. like most at this point is Torg. And I thought it would be fun to jump on and do a short video with Zane and ask him questions about Torg and just talk about our love of the game. So Zane, let me ask you this. What first captured you uh, and captured your imagination? about Torg? Well, so do you mean where it all started? Yeah, like where, did, where did it all start? So if I remember correctly, I really liked D&D and you were teaching me it. Mm -hmm. And you were talking to me about the other games you run and then I asked you about Torg. And the moment I heard Invading Worlds. That was it? So, um, what is it about the setting that you really like? What's your favorite part about the Torg Eternity setting? Um, I... Well, I know... Well, here's the thing. I recently looked in the book, and I actually found a little thing that says other stories of the Torg. Mm -hmm. But it says that Torg Eternity was a one where it didn't go so well. Right. So, I basically like all of the co other cosms, but I also like how it's another version of our Earth. Yeah. Now, it's also another version of Torg, because the original Torg game is basically one possible way it could have gone. And Torg Eternity is a whole other reality where it's also going on. It's not going to go as well as you said. All right. So you have some Torg books. I got you the Torg Core book, and you got the Cyber Papacy book. Books. Uh, all of the books for the Cyber Papacy. And, and then you've I have looked the, through. I also have the Heroes Volume One and Relics of the Power Index. Yes, and you have the GM pack. So, uh, and you've looked both, through a lot. Of, both normal and Cyber Papacy. Yeah. Now you've looked through a lot of my books. What is your favorite Cosm and why? Okay, Dad, you're now just tearing me between decisions okay. right now. I like all of them really much, but the main ones I don't really like for reasons are Oro, Starkold, and Pan Pacific. Is it because of the scariness? Yeah. Okay, but what's your... So that leaves Core Earth, Isle, the Cyber Papacy, the Living Land, and the Nile Empire. What is your fa if you could, if you had to pick one right now and say this is my favorite what would it be? Um, I honestly cannot. Okay. I cannot. All right. Uh, pick one. What character do you like the most right now that you have? Because I have four. You have four. I think I'm gonna go with the one that I played the most. Also, because it has a dragon pet, my Isle character. So you have an Isle elf that has a Drake animal companion. Mm -hmm. You like that one? I'm saying I like that more because I haven't played with my other three kids. As much. Okay. As much. What is something about the system that you like? Because it's pretty different than the ones you learned on. Like, you learned, uh, like, Axe and D&D. &D, and those were your, like, your first role-playing games. And we played a little cipher system. So what is... Uh, your what? What is something about the game that you like about Torg that's different than the other ones? Um, I really like its mix of dice and cards. Um, for the system. Okay. Um, I. It's a very complicated game, so I don't know all of it, all of the system, but I do. But I have played in it. Okay. So I know I like the mix of the dice and the cards. Awesome. Now, are you going to run a tour game at some point once you learn the system a little bit better? 
A hundred percent. What? A uh, hundred fifty. A hundred fifty percent? Okay, what would you, if, if you were going to start an adventure in Tor, which cosm would you start the players off in? That would depend. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about having their own separate adventures in their columns. And then bringing them together? And then bringing them together eventually. I like that a lot. That's actually what I want to do uh, with the next game that I run. So maybe I will have to uh, uh, chat with you about that. Do you have I anything... barely have anything planned for that. <laughs> <coughs> do you have any final thoughts that you want to share about why Torg is so awesome? Um... I like all of, I like every part of it. Mm -hmm. I like the system, the cosms, the setting, the the, t every, the characters you can play, the talent, the perks you can get. So you just like all of it. All of it. All right. Well, uh, this is just gonna. This is the first uh, of possibly more videos of Zane talks about Torg. So uh, expect when we get the Tharkold box in that Zane and I are going to do an unboxing video of it. We're just going to keep talking about Torg. It's a game that he really loves. So here's the thing. If you are a, uh, a gamer who has kids, let me just tell you, there is something for everything on in Torg. And the fact that like this is the game that captured my son's imagination just made me love it even more. So until next time, I'm JM the GM. I am Zane the GM in train. And uh, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay gaming. Have a good one. Bye.